All right, I thought I would give you a little bit of a tour of the book Making Artist as opposed to just a box opening so you could see what was actually in the book. The first thing you'll notice uh, when you get the book is that the intro section is much shorter in this than it is in the open art room. And that's because we felt like, you know, introducing you to, to Tab in the first book was really important so you understood what Choice Space was all about. But now we figure at this point you have a good understanding of it and you can probably just jump right into the meat. So, the second thing you'll notice is the book is actually divided into two parts. When we wrote The Open Art Room, we tried to make the book one cohesive unit, but because we're working in two different schools now and we're coming up with different methods, we have Melissa's part and then my part later on in the back. So, I'll start with that going through here. And Melissa kind of starts with introducing the concept of the framework of, of the artistic process. And so she talks about the stages of that in this beginning part here. And then she goes into using that and applying that to teaching for independence, which is a nice little chapter right here, too. And then she gets into some of the fun stuff, uh, making teaching effective. And then um, this one I actually really like because it's not just talks about, like, the theory of it, but actually gives some practical applications of things she does in the classrooms that actually build a lot of community. So that's a really good chapter right there. Um, then she talks about scaffolding student choice. Now this is the real meat of her section. This is chock full of uh, lessons and plans and ideas and things you can do with your students to really just advance this whole concept of explorations and student directed work and it's great little section right there. And then she closes it up with a section on my favorite topic, <laughs> grading and assessment. And she just talks about how she goes into um, grading and the process of grading her students and how that works in her section. Then we get to my section. <clears throat> um, the first part of my section right here is sort of just an introduction of how uh, you might start applying this concept. Um, it's sort of an introduction, kind of goes really quick. And then preparing the room and preparing the students, the things you might need to do to get your room ready, including things like the art journal if you're going to do that, and just setting up the room, uh, ordering supplies things of that nature. So that's all just in that section. And then the rest of my section is broken into three parts, which is a subject-based teaching, which is right here, um, teaching with artistic behaviors, and modular teaching. And I'll just give you a quick overview of that. Subject-based teaching is sort of a, a kind of an intro, maybe a beginner section you'd want to do with students. And I present the nine in this section. So this is a good uh, beginner art one type of way. If they haven't had choice before, that's a great way to introduce choice. The second one is through artistic behaviors. Now we introduced this concept in the open art room. So you might be like, didn't we do that already? Yes, we did. But this goes into a lot more explanation, it actually has a how do you can write a lesson plan so that you can create your own, kind of a template, and then it has a whole bunch of sections of just uh, other units that you probably haven't heard or seen before that we did that you can just kind of plug and play right into your classroom if you like that type of teaching. And the third section, modular teaching, is sort of like how do you run a full tab high school and still teach techniques, teach about artists, teach about concepts. So it breaks it up in how you can take each one of those things and teach them separately, and so you can plug and play that too. So that's my favorite section of the book there. And of course, standards, grading, and assessment, where I have to talk about my grading, <laughs> which if you know anything about what I think of grading, it should be a much shorter chapter than it is. But I do talk about uh, reflection, I talk about learning targets, and um, and the whole thing there. So that's my section. And then it kind of closes up with some resources in the back, and of course an index, some articles you can go look at, and then there's this lovely back page here you can draw on, which is really nice. So it's like you get a sketchbook as well as the book. And to, to, to end it all, we have a great quote here from Cindy Myers, uh, Folly, who um, is the Executive Director, a director for Learning and Experience at Columbus Museum of Art. So you might have heard her before. She's done some videos um, talking about using creativity in art. So she gave us a nice little quote there in the back of the book. So that's Making Artists. Um, you, I'll put a link down below so you can get a copy of it or at least pre-order it at this point right now. And thanks for watching.